Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a really awesome backdrop for stop motion dioramas and pretty much anything else you want for really cheap. So I'm gonna be using dollar store foam core and I'm gonna be using a tin foil ball here and rolling on some very simple texture. These are all gonna be bricks that I'm gonna be making for a marine style backdrop. So you just wanna get a nice stony kind of look into that foam. Then I'm marking up about half an inch on every line here for about nine inches. And this is all gonna go towards the bricks. So I just need to mark it to make sure I make the bricks all even and perfect kind of looking. And uh, it's definitely pretty important to get as accurate as possible when it comes to this step. Now I'm just drawing them out. I basically am just putting my ruler on one side of the lines and just continuously scoring it about two to three times to really get a nice deep imprint. Once that's done, we're just gonna go up on the bricks about every other brick, and this is gonna make them have that brick kind of look. And then we're going to go back over and we're gonna do the other bricks that we missed later. Now we're going back over the other bricks that we did not score earlier, and we're gonna offset these from the other ones. Make sure that they're not just all a straight line. You wanna have them kind of in the middle or to the side a little bit of the other bricks. And then you just score them all the way up like that. And you get this really nice brick look. As you can see, it looks like they're all individually placed there, which is really important. Now I'm gonna add some cracks and some grooves into the foam. And this is pretty optional, you don't have to do this, but I figured it would be nice to just have a couple cracks into this. Now, if you wanna make it even crazier, you can use your fingers and kind of poke stuff out, but I didn't do that either. I'm gonna make some girders now. So this is some pink panther foam in the middle and a little bit of white foam core on the side. And these are gonna go on the backdrop as well, just to add a little bit more craziness and to make it just a little bit more interesting for your eye. I'm gonna paint those silver as well. Now I'm gonna be using Mod Podge, and basically this is just gonna seal the foam a little bit and make it have a little bit more strength to it and just a little bit harder. And it's just gonna make sure that all these cracks and grooves kinda of just don't chip off too much. Once that was done, I did a base coat of black paint, and now I'm adding a green coat of paint onto the backdrop. So I sped this up pretty fast because it took a little while to kinda of do it, but you just wanna really get in there. The reason you do the black first is so, well, you can't get the green in the grooves and all that kind of stuff, then there's a nice little black kind of grooves in the background, which look really good. Now I'm doing a white dry brush. This is pretty simple, just a little bit of paint on your brush and slowly going over the entire backdrop. Really makes it have these really nice uh, wearing kind of spots and chipping kind of spots, and I think it looks really good. Definitely do some dry brushes whenever you're making stuff like this. Now I'm gonna make a very off script wash. Pretty much just some yucky brown paint and a little bit of water. And I'm just gonna mix that right up. And then I'm gonna slowly apply it all the way around the backdrop. This is just gonna make some areas a little bit dirtier than others. And it's gonna just add a lot of little bits of detail, which is really good. If you're gonna be making stop motions and stop motions take forever to make, you definitely wanna have the background be as cool and entertaining as possible so your stop motions look a little better. I've been really enjoying doing stop motions lately and I plan on doing a lot more. So if you wanna see more backdrop videos, definitely let me know in the comments down below. All right, now we're gonna be adding the girders down. So just a little bit of hot glue in the back, painted them up silver, and then I am applying one on each side and then one in the middle. I thought this would look really good and just give it that really nice UNSC marine style kind of feel and I really liked it. And you're done. Super simple to make your own little backdrops for your stop motions and I've been doing a ton of stop motion lately so I figured why not show you guys how I kind of make some of these things. I plan on doing a lot more stop motion in the future so definitely let me know in the comments down below what kind of backdrops you would like to see 
Covenant, Flood, Newman Vasa kind of backdrops. Whatever you really want to see, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, see you guys all later. Have a great rest of your day, evening, or night. Peace.